Right now, we're in a fight for our lives. We're in a fight for our kids' lives. Former Cowboy star Russell Maryland has lived in South Lake nearly 20 years, but for the past two, he's been part of a Carroll ISD committee crafting an equality plan for the district his three kids attended. It is about the kids. Lately, that cultural competence action plan, known as CCAP, has consumed every district meeting. CCAP, at its core, is racist. It's time to scrap the CCAP. It started back in 2018. A video of Carol ISD students chanting a racial slur went viral, and then... I can say no more! Just months later, it happened again. It was uh, a terrible, terrible feeling. Maryland says board member Matt Bryant begged him to join the committee, but has lately been unsupportive. He had tears in his eyes and said, we need you to apply. After strengthening the code of conduct, they created the CCAP, which establishes diversity and LGBT focus groups, a more inclusive curriculum, more awareness of the district's diversity, and a system to track and reduce discriminatory bullying. But it's just a basic plan of human decency. No one's trying to trick anybody. Angela Jones' son was called a racial slur twice in six months. She's also on the committee and says the plan has suddenly become political and clouded by misinformation. But you can't even get to the conversation of what can we, you know, tw you know, tweak because people have drawn lines in the sand. Now it's stalled. We need to pause and hold our government officials, our elected officials accountable for what they're doing. Kristen Garcia is suing the district, claiming board members broke the law by discussing the plan outside of meetings. We need parents everywhere to understand that your eyes need to be open. At a recent meeting, hundreds of students shared stories of discrimination. My headscarf was pulled off my head one day. I was referred to as having a terrorist hat. You have no idea what it's like to be called a But teachers knew about it the entire time. Just ridiculous, hateful, crazy stuff. I said to myself, we got our own little local pandemic here. This is the pandemic. But some parents say the cure is worse than the disease. And I'm sorry if somebody spent 20 months of their life working on this, okay? Sometimes a stupid idea is a bad idea. The purpose of CCAP is to impose a leftist worldview. Parents and some on the board want to pause till there's a new superintendent, likely months away. I reached out to several board members, but President Michelle Moore said they can't talk because of the lawsuit. At some point, the conversations need to be turned into action. Jones and Maryland say they're not going away but neither are the reasons this plan exists. Kids who are living it right now, they can't wait. They needed something to happen last year. In Southlake, I'm William Joy.